This year marks the 10 year anniversary of what is considered to be one of the worst wrestling games of all time. That game being none other than WWE 2K15. This game had a lot of hype surrounding it as it was the first WWE game to make the shift to next gen, that being Xbox One and PS4 at the time. A lot of people had high expectations for this game to be the absolute best it could be. But when it came out, besides the graphics, which were pretty good for the time, this game really had nothing else going for it. There were no game modes and barely any match types to actually play. This was a wrestling game with no match types. The career mode, which was the big new addition for 2K15, was an absolute snooze fest. And not to mention, the game was and still is pretty damn buggy. Just look at this. I mean, like, what the fuck is Brock even sitting on in this clip? That was what the next gen version of this game was like. But what if I told you that the Xbox 360 and PS3 versions of WWE 2K15 were actually better than the PS4 and Xbox One versions? WWE 2K15 on the Xbox 360 and PS3 are what I consider to be the forgotten versions of this game due to everybody hyping up the next gen versions so much. When WWE 2K15 released on PS4 and Xbox One, those versions heavily overshadowed the last gen versions despite the next gen versions being well pretty terrible. So in this video, I wanted to go ahead and talk about the Xbox 360 version of WWE 2K15 and see just how good it really was compared to the Xbox One version. Also, shout out to my friend Vanekin for buying me the Xbox One version of WWE 2K15 last year. The link to his channel will be in the description if you guys want to help support him. Anyways, without further ado, on to the actual video. Upon starting the game, you'll realize that just based off the main menu alone, this is just WW2K14 all over again. I mean, they aren't even trying to hide it. If I'm gonna be honest, this was probably the best thing they could have done though, as 2K14 was an awesome game. Even back in 2015, I didn't see the issue with this game just being 2K14 all over again with an updated roster. Something else you'll notice in this menu is there's actual game modes to play. You got your 2K showcase, and you also have another mode which is exclusive to these last gen versions called who got nxt i'll talk a bit more about who got nxt later in this video but for now i want to talk about how this game actually plays when 2k15 came out on next gen it got a lot of hate due to how slow the gameplay was the gameplay of the last gen version of 2K15 though is way better in comparison to the next gen version. This is what 2K15 should have been like on next gen. Now sure the game doesn't look the prettiest due to it being on the Xbox 360, but if I'm gonna be honest, I'm able to put up with slightly worse graphics because the gameplay is fun and at least for me, that's what matters the most. 2K15 on next gen on the other hand looked great but had pretty bad gameplay. At the end of the day, if I had to choose which version to play just based off the gameplay alone, I definitely picked the 360 version. Certain superstars though just do not look good at all. Take Roman Reigns for example, if you compare how he looks on the 360 version to how he looks on the Xbox One version, it's a night and day difference. Once you actually play the game, you realize that it's not just the menu that was the same as it was in 2K14, the gameplay is also the exact same as it was in 2K14. This game really is just 2K14 with an updated roster. The graphics are the exact same, the gameplay is the exact same, but honestly, the gameplay being the same isn't really an issue. The gameplay is fast, responsive, and because of this, matches don't feel like a chore to play through. Plus, because it's the same as 2K14, which was the same as WWE13, which was pretty much the same as WWE12, you still have that freedom you had from all those games when it comes to weapons and stuff. When I was playing the 360 version for this video, I was having a blast just fucking around in extreme rules matches and seeing what wild spots I could try to pull off. Keyword, try. I swear every time I tried to do a cool spot of some sort, the AI would somehow find a way to get out of it every single time without fail. I also forgot the last time I played this game, I had the difficulty set to legend, so I was getting my ass kicked pretty hard by the AI. Despite every cool spot, 
spot I wanted to do getting ruined by the AI, I could at least set up the spots to do them. When I tried to do the same thing in the Xbox One version, I felt extremely limited as to what I could do with weapons. I could only place a table in certain spots, it, it just wasn't as fun compared to the 360 version. With the last gen versions of this game, not only is the gameplay good unlike the next gen version, also unlike the next gen version, there's actual match types to play. You want to play a special referee match? Go for it. Inferno match? You can do that too. I quit match? It's there. You also have the slobber knocker match, gauntlet matches, everything that was removed in the next gen version is still here in this last gen version. Now it's time to talk about 2k showcase. The 2K Showcase was the big new addition to 2K15 and it made it here on last gen. The first 2K Showcase takes you through John Cena and CM Punk's rivalry from the early 2010s and the second showcase takes you through Triple H and Shawn Michaels' rivalry from the 2000s. As I said earlier though, this version of the game doesn't really look the prettiest so a lot of the cutscenes in 2K Showcase can look a little weird at times. Despite the poor visuals though, 2K Showcase is a lot easier to get through in this version because of the faster gameplay. Other than 2K Showcase, there's one more mode called Who Got NXT. As I said earlier in this video, this mode was exclusive to the 360 and PS3 versions of 2K15. This was to make up for the fact that last gen players didn't get the My Career mode the next gen versions got, but who the hell really wants to play 2K15's My Career mode? Anyways, Who Got NXT sees you playing through a bunch of NXT matches and completing different objectives as different NXT superstars from that time. This is honestly a pretty cool addition to these versions of the game as it gave you something more to do after you finish the showcase. After you finish all the matches in Who Got NXT, you unlock something called Proving Grounds, which sees you taking on none other than Super Cena himself. Proving Grounds is a lot like Defeat the Streak from 2K14, but this time instead of taking on The Undertaker, you're taking on John Cena. This is a normal match too, so you can't rely on weapons or anything like that to make it easier. I will say, I do remember this being a lot harder than it was, but when playing it for this video, I ended up beating Cena on Legend difficulty in under 4 minutes. Overall, this game is so much content for honestly what should have been the inferior version of this game at the time. Next Gen 2K15 had a lot of hype behind it only for it to be a complete and utter disappointment on release. The 360 and PS3 versions of this game though really shined as being the superior versions. So that was WWE 2K15 on last gen. Honestly, I have to say this truly is the definitive way to play WWE 2K15 if you really wanted to go back and play it. As I said, the gameplay is still pretty awesome and really enjoyable, and yeah, while the graphics aren't as good, the amount of fun you can have in this version makes up for the less than stellar visuals. If you can find this version of the game at a decent price, I suggest giving it a try. Or don't, I can't really tell you what to do.